it's Sylvia Machetti. Thanks for joining me today on Luminosity TV. First of all, I'm really blown away by the responses I got in my last video. I talked about being a slave to fashion and all of my struggles over the years. It's amazing how many women resonated with my story. As you know, my experiences are the basis for which I share these videos and my hope is always that someone out there learns from my numerous mistakes. There's a lot that we women have lost over the years, but there's so much more power within us that we're yet to utilize. Today, I wanted to talk about that power that a woman has. Imagine there's a room full of men raging and arguing. Their testosterone level is off the roof. There's chaos everywhere in the room and, and you just know that in a matter of seconds, they might come to blows just like that WWE wrestling we used to watch as kids. But wait, someone's coming down the hallway. She hears all the noise coming from the room where the men are. She's wondering what's going on in there. She centers herself. She finds her composure. She quietly opens the door where all this noise is coming from and she gently walks in. Wait, something's happened. Everyone stops. 100% her mere presence has just created a soothing effect in the room. The men are somewhat astonished. Their argument ceases. They're all wondering what just happened. It's like magic. <laughs> Almost like she quietened them with her aura, her essence. She takes a quick glance across the room as if trying to establish a connection with each of them. She doesn't actually say a word. It's just her energy that permeates the room. She flashes one of those childlike smiles as if to say, I see you boys, whatever you've been up to, it's time to stop, behave. <laughs> they all look at each other, not sure what's happened, but they suddenly feel ashamed. They quickly adjust themselves, disappointed in themselves even for having behaved so badly. There's a sudden change in the air. What they don't realize is how quickly they themselves have changed inwardly how they've quickly composed themselves to show that they're true gentlemen. There's still a bit of testosterone dripping, but we can allow it. <laughs> Her energy calms everything. That is the true power of a genuine woman. I do not care what calibration of men they are, older men, younger men, boys, priests, presidents, members of parliament, it doesn't matter. When a true woman in all of her feminine glory walks in, she has that gentle, quiet, soothing and calming effect on her environment. One that is noticed by every true man who knows what a true woman looks like. A woman has that power within her. For this woman I've described, it's nothing sensual, it's nothing physical, it's not her miniskirt or her cleavage. For a true, woman, a true man, she'll find that repulsive anyway. She's not trying to entice. She's not cunning and definitely not looking to use her body to gain favors. Her weapon of choice is her nature, her intuitive ability, her knowledge of who she is and her role in silently ennobling her environment. Let's be clear. All of this sounds fantastic, but I'm talking about true woman here. How many still exist? How many still left in this world who know who they truly are? We women have lost so much that was entrusted to us. Our greatest gift being that delicate and finer intuition that allows us to connect with the source much faster than any, other, any man could ever imagine. We were placed up there spiritually higher than the man. But what have we done? We have relegated ourselves to the background. We've asked for equality, which is a downgrade. If you knew you were on the 10th floor, heading to the penthouse on the 15th floor, why would you wanna go down and meet the boys on the 8th floor? <laughs> we are engaging more and more in male-dominated activities, which then makes us a caricature, either or, or none at all. This is truly a gift that many women have lost. It wasn't taken from us. We voluntarily gave it up. 
every time we thought we needed to compete with the men, to be seen, to be able to do the same as they are doing. Show me a truly happy man who enjoys his home and I'll show you the lovely woman who made that happen. Not because she had to wear the trousers and jump into the muddy puddles, but because in the background, she can silently create and long for the change she wants to see happen in her environment. And show me that well brought up child and I'll show you the mother who raised him. Show me a happy home and I'll show you the intuitive woman who holds it all together. Show me a great nation and I'll show you the hearts of the women who help to build it in the background. They don't have to be the muscles or, or be in the position of power. They are the backbone and the spine with which everything stands. Your legs won't work if your spine was damaged. And unfortunately, you only need to look around you today to see that damaged spine in womanhood. We cannot build a happy world if women are not taking up their rightful roles. In my lifetime, I've had the pleasure of growing up among such women. And I'm sure most of you in my generation have mothers who have helped set those standards. So why are we allowing society to turn us away from the simple lessons that we learned from such women? I'm sure you have met women with no formal education, no university degree, no airs about them, just simple, natural, and full of goodness in their heart. They radiate such warmth, such kindness, such calmness. And yet, cue in the so-called educated mother and woman, especially those in competition with themselves. It is pitiful. No subtlety, no finesse, no recognition of self, and sadly, no calmness either. Everything is labored, heavy, copied, intellectual, and lacks the very femininity which you expect from a woman. It is important that young girls and women begin to understand what their true roles are in this creation. We were not designed to solely be mothers and wives. That is not our primary role. That is just one of the things we have been opportuned to be. But that doesn't define us. What defines us is being a true woman, first of all, as destined by our Creator and knowing what a true woman is. It is not for nothing that they say behind every successful man is a good woman. In Nigeria, we used to say, woman, pray for your husbands. Husbands, hold still, let the prayers work. <laughs> because the notion is that if you don't have the blessings of a good woman behind you, then everything comes to a standstill. Again, the key word is a true woman. How many now wish to be like men? talk like men, act like men, take pride in saying, I can do it all by myself. I always say that is like uh, yin saying, I don't need yang. That would be like butter saying, I don't want bread. <laughs> and that would be like half saying, I don't need to be whole. The union of both, each performing their roles together as ordained by their creator and recognizing these roles is what creates the whole. And the whole of humanity rest in the hands of a good woman. Isn't it time we wake up and take up our, our rightful places as was once intended by our Creator? Starting with genuine love in our hearts for humanity. And if you're a woman watching this right now, I wish you true womanhood, the one your Creator destined for you to be. As always, I'm a work in progress. Until next time, take good care of yourself. Bye-bye.